I believe it's Nelson Mandela who says, knowledge is your most powerful weapon. I was tasked with leading a CAP accreditation for my department, and so there's no better way to equip myself by learning and engaging um, in the process to learn as much as possible. As a CAPRA volunteer, I find that every opportunity is a learning process. And the experience that you garner from the visits and meeting the people and seeing their facilities and the information that you can get to help within your own department, I think, is well worthwhile. You learn so much in a sense of developing yourself, but also um, learning to help grow your agency that you work for. I think that every time you go to a new agency, you learn something different. But I've learned how my agency and how other agencies do best practices across departments in areas such as, say, finance or HR, where I don't have any expertise. So it's really broadened my professional knowledge of how parks and recreation works. What I've learned is you, you've seen one park and rec agency, that's what you've seen, exactly one. We all interact very differently with our community. It just, it just really just reignited um, me in my career. So, you know, I, I got the, the CPRP certification. Um, I got to go to the conference and then I was just like, oh man, and just seeing and being around such phenomenal organizations, such phenomenal cities and what they're doing. I think it's a great opportunity. Uh, I think it's a great opportunity to, to uh, network with a couple other parks professionals uh, outside of your state uh, and uh, away from your own department. I think it's a great opportunity to, um, to grow and, and to learn more about the CAPRA process. To me, that's one of the most enriching parts of being a volunteer because not only do I get to see what they're doing, but it, it offers me a different perspective, helps me improve back when I go home to my agency. So it's, to me, it's, it's in, an invaluable part of the experience. I really see my involvement in CAPRA as educational and, and helping me advance my knowledge in best practices and just the great things that park systems around the country are doing. I would say that, you know, it seems complicated, but it's really not. Um, go to the training, learn, you know, the different chapters that you're going to do, understand what a good evidence of compliance looks like versus a different one, and then when you're really visiting, when you're on site or whether you're virtual, um, really immerse yourself in it. That, that, that's the only way for you to truly help that agency grow, but also help yourself as a professional grow.